Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to part 3 of the regulator rectifier replacement on the Honda VFR800. Um, as you can see, we've got our MOSFET regulator here, all uh, mounted up to the bike, um, mounted up to the frame, all ready and rocking. Um, all we need to do now is obviously wire it into the bike. Um, okay, if you haven't seen the first two parts, what I'll do is I'll link them up here uh, in the top corner so you can click on them. Um, have a look at those and you see where we've uh, how we've got to this point um, and hopefully you'll uh, you'll find it useful <laughs> Okay then, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up the, uh, the positive and negative cables from the regulator rectifier that go to the battery because they're the easiest ones to route. Um, I'm not going to connect them up yet, not until I've um, done all the state of, in, uh, state of wiring um, as well. Obviously it would be best to uh, keep the battery disconnected until we've finished messing around with the wiring. However, I'm going to route this one because it's the easiest one to route. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the tank because I want it to go um, over the bike. Uh, to the battery which is here on the uh, on the left hand side uh, just underneath the seat so yeah i'll get the uh, i'll get the tank up in the air and then i'll uh, i'll bring you back in once uh, once i'm ready to go okay so tank up uh, held up out of the way um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to connect this uh, this cable up to the regular rectifier uh, just to point out i have filled in the uh, middle port with a bit of silicone um just to keep any uh, any road grime or water out, um, that should uh, that should last perfectly adequately. And there we go, we're plugged in. Right then, what I want to do is I need to route both these cables to the other side of the bike, so it goes over to there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to feed them through the gap in the frame here. There's a few connectors under here as well, just pushing it through. those hoses and then likewise for the black one okay so what I've done root it in here we've gone over here we can take that actually round the side it doesn't need to go over the top um, and I've gone underneath this flap and then I've taken it underneath the frame spar for the subframe both cables have gone underneath there um, and exited on the other side we'll go over there in a second now one thing I do want to point out is this is the original connector for the original regulator rectifier this is actually now redundant um, we don't need this anymore so what you can do is um, Cover it over, put a bit of rubber over it, tape it off, bit of tie wrap, uh, you know, with a bit of rubber with a tie wrap or whatever, however you want to do it. Uh, you can put a bit of old inner tube over it, tie wrap around it. Um, whatever you want to do, just stop the water getting in there because this connector is no longer needed. I um, I'm not actually going to do that because I have a uh, I have a plan for something, a little upgrade that I'm going to do um, in a future video, which will probably I'll probably drop that in a couple of weeks time. Um, where I'm going to use this connector and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to replace this connector for a nice shiny new one. I've got a replacement connector block uh, and all the terminals and all that good stuff. So what I'll do is I'll replace all of this and I'll uh, um, I'll show you that in a future video and everything will become clear. So I won't be taping this one off for now. Um, I'm going to leave it as it is. Anyway, over to the other side of the bike. Okay, so here we are. Both cables exiting under here. Uh, as I said a second ago, um, I've Tuck the uh, self-setting circuit breaker into there because that's perfectly, perfectly, uh, you know, a, de a decent-sized little nook for it to sit in, um, and then that will 
connect up to here and the negative will connect up to here. Uh, obviously I've got some ex extra wiring. Um, one of these is for the uh, um, Optimate um, connector, you know, for, for charging the battery. Um, and the other one is for the heated grips. Um, so obviously I need to reconnect all them back up, uh, make sure they're all good. Um, but what I'll do um, is I'll come, I'll revisit that uh, shortly when we come to connecting the battery up, because um, obviously we're not connecting it at the moment um, until um, we've done all the stator wiring. So next thing to do is stator wiring. Um, obviously we've got the original plug on the other side. We're not using that. What we're doing is I'm going to wire, hardwire it directly to the, con the connectors where it comes out of the engine casing. Um, in order to get to that, what I need to do is take the, uh, take the panel off on this side. So what I'll do, I'll whip the panel off, I'll bring you back in when I'm ready to go. Okay then, so panel off. Um, what we're looking for is the um, three cables that come out the, uh, the top of the cover. Um, there'll be a little bung in the cover, but it's, uh, it's actually behind this coolant bottle. So what we need to do is move the coolant bottle out of the way. Crack these bolts off, there's two of them holding it on. What I'm gonna do, this is the overflow which comes down here to this point, what I'm gonna do I'm just going to pop a clamp on it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let it move down out of the way, swing out of the way, and I don't want it, it'll probably hang upside down, but I don't want it to uh, pour coolant all over the floor. There you go. As you can see, the letter would probably find its way out. So uh, I don't want to want to uh, I don't want to just allow it to pour all over my floor. Okay, this cable here is the stator wiring. As you can see, it goes into the into the cover through this little bung just here. But what we want to do is we want to pull it through um, from the other side, and. Uh, I'm going to cut the connector off the other end because it's, it's redundant, it's no longer required. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my new wiring, put a bit of tape around it, and then use this to pull it through. So it's all rooted in, a, in roughly the same place. So I'll, uh, I'll set that up and then I'll, uh, I'll pull it through. Take it around there just so that they don't pull off. This is just easier than trying to push the wiring through yourself. All right, then let's get to the other side. Just give us a little tug through. to that point. Plenty through. What I'll do, I'll go around the other side, connect that one up.
there we go. Right, back to the other side. Okay, we've got plenty of slack. What to do? Pull the sheathing off. It's no longer required. And as you can see, we've got three separate cables from the stator. Now, they're significantly thinner than the 12 AWG cable that we're using um, for, uh, for our new loom. So these are proper beef. So there's uh, no concern about this, this cable not being uh, up to the job. Right then, what we need to do is we need to cut all three of these wires. I'm gonna cut them to that length. Now, obviously I could have wired this up anywhere and uh, at any point along here. However, this is older cable, you know, this bike is a 2003 model, so it's 17 years old. So this is a 17 year old cable. So the, the less old cable I have to use, the better. Okay then, what I'm gonna do next is I am going to strip all the wires, tin them up, and then uh, we'll, we'll solder them together. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll make a decent job of it. So let me get my soldering iron out and uh, we'll make a start. Okay then, so what I need to do is just strip a little bit of insulation off each wire. on each one. What I think I might do actually is just expose a little bit more just to yeah I think we'll go for a bit more yeah I'll go for that much I think Next we want to do the same on each of these. I'm going to give it a little bit of slack. Cut them all the same. Obviously just make sure you don't cut them too short, otherwise you'll have problems. One side, don't need that right now. Okay, let's do the same for each of these. I think I may actually expose a bit more of these as well. Right then, next what we need to do, join the wires together. Okay, before we go any further, what I'm gonna do, slide a little bit of heat shrink over each one before I forget to do it. Put that up there. Same for each. Like 
last one. Right then. Next, what I want to do is I need to merge the two wires together and then get them soldered together. What I'll do is merge them like so. Get plenty of flux on there. Plenty of flux. Hold down a second. That feels nice and strong and very hot. Right. Okay. What I'll do, I'll repeat that for the other two and then we'll bring it back in. All right then. So that's all three done. Um, obviously, I don't know if uh, you can see, make that out very well. Uh, it's not the best solder in the world because I'm not the best solder in the world. I've absolutely no doubt that somebody will point that out to me in the comments. Um, anyway, they're all done, all three. And if they're nice and tight, they don't pull apart. So let's get some uh, heat shrink over each one. That's nicely in the middle there. around them just keep them together keep them nice and tidy state wiring done okay what we need to do next is uh, connect up the battery fire the bike up making sure we're uh, we're getting uh, a charging voltage across the battery okay then right that's all the wiring done regulator bolted up to the bike uh, all plugged in what I've done is I've connected up the battery again. Um, obviously these are the two cables from the uh, regulator rectifier and everything else is as it was before. Um, and I've put the coolant bottle back on obviously because what I'm gonna hope to do in a second is start the bike and I don't want uh, coolant dripping everywhere. So before we begin, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, oops, pull the cable out the uh, multimeter. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check the voltage at the battery before we do go any further and we've got 12.33 volts okay that's not too bad it's been standing a little while um, 
The bike's been standing a little while, but um, 12.33 is pretty good. Right then, um, we've got the hiss activity light and the clock is on. Let's uh, turn the key. We heard the fuel pump prime. Let's press the button. Okay. Lights are all working. It's running nice. Now what we want to do is we want to check the voltage across the battery now um, to check the charging system's working okay. What I'm hoping for is at least 13.8, uh, at least 13.8 volts. Um, but I would I would prefer if it was getting closer to 14.4, 14.5. So across the battery. 14.28, absolutely 14.28, 14.29, absolutely perfect. So we know that the charging system is working, the regulator device is good, all the cabling is doing everything that it should be doing, absolutely spot on. So let's uh, let's turn that off and uh, stop drifting ourselves. Okay, so that is the job done. All that remains for me to do really is uh, obviously put all the plastics and the seat back on, drop the tank down. Um, but yeah, that is the job done. Um, the only thing I didn't do um, that you may want to do is just, uh, as I said earlier, tape up that connector um, that the original regulator rectifier plugged into. Um, as I said, I've got uh, something planned for that connector um, that I'm going to uh, that I'm going to be doing later. Um, but that's obviously for a future video, so I'll bring that to you very very soon. Okay, very very pleased with that. I know now that this bike has a good regulator rectifier with good quality cabling and that it should give me uh, many years of service and that it's not gonna it's not gonna cause me a breakdown right then guys hopefully you uh, you've enjoyed this series of three videos um, you found them useful uh, please share them about uh, share them amongst friends those those people you know that I've got VFRs and uh, hopefully uh, it can help them out as well please give me a like um, and feel free to comment in the uh, in the comments below and uh, I'll, I'll do what I can to get back to you uh, as soon as possible Thank you very much guys. Bye. Bye now